you guys. Long time, kind of. Uh, this is a video addressing a lot of the comments and questions I'm getting on the Marmalade video um, where she was crying and about to give birth and all that stuff. Now, I, I made that video. I didn't really think anything of it. I definitely didn't think it was going to be a popular video or blow up the way that it has, but it is like my most viewed video out of all my videos and as such there are a lot of comments a lot of ignorant people a lot of people that like to poke and troll and a lot of people that don't know how to read the description and um as much as i write in the description trying to answer the questions if you're not going to fucking read it then it's not going to do any good so i thought i would make a separate video here and i'll link it in the description hoping that some people will check it out otherwise i'll just upload it as it is for those that are curious. Question number one has been, what breed of cat was she? Is she, was she? She was a Persian ragdoll cross. Her mother was a Persian and her father was a ragdoll. I knew the owner and I went and I visited many times. So I saw both of her parents and that is definitely 100% what she was. She was very beautiful color. I, I've never seen colors like her. She didn't even give birth to anybody that even looked remotely like her, so that really sucks. Uh, how did she die? I did post a video about it. I know I kind of rushed through it because I was really, really upset at the moment, but um, what had happened was it wasn't negligence or anything like that. Uh, as you guys might or might not know, my husband and I had split up. He went to his mom's house. I went somewhere else while I was preparing to come here to the States, and he took her because he was obviously staying in New Zealand when he took her she was indoors with him and she got out um, because she got out he was not able to catch her she didn't know where she was she just didn't want to get caught and as you know if the cat's outside and does not want to get caught they're not going to be caught one day he was walking to work and she followed him further than she's ever followed him before don't know why she decided to she just did and he tried to shoo her back towards the house. She didn't want to go. And um, he turned around and she was like right there. And he was like, Marmalade, go, you know, go back home. And instead of running that direction, she ran into the middle of the street. And uh, she was over the middle line towards the, the traffic going the opposite way. And a truck came barreling out of nowhere um, way too fast and over the line. If he had been completely in his lane he probably wouldn't have actually hit her because she froze uh and just kind of stood there and my ex was there like he knew what was going to happen and he was like oh my this isn't happening this is happening and it did and he was really distraught really upset he ran and he grabbed her the the truck smacked into her knocked her uh, she was pretty much dead on impact i would think because she was bleeding everywhere he didn't know she was bleeding at first um, she was twitching and moving and, and it was dark outside. So he actually didn't know what was going on. He just knew, fuck, she's, she's in trouble. And he called me up and he said, you need to get over here right now. And I rushed over and she was already dead. And, uh, he had ran her home and she died in his arms, like completely died on his arms. Although the impact would have been enough to, to kill her in the first place. Um, the number one comment I get that I am deleting every time I see it because I'm just sick of acknowledging it because it's in the description and it's in the new upload is who is that racist cunt in the background? That racist cunt is some dickwad that was living there. And I said, I'm going to be making a video. Marmalade is in labor. It is not something that I could refilm or redo. If you have issues with your game, don't start screaming like a little bitch. Just don't play. Just stop playing for five minutes because I can't have you losing your shit and, and, and saying stupid shit because I'm not going to be able to cut it out of the video. And he promised me that he wouldn't be saying that shit. And he did. And it was in the background. So I was hoping that nobody would hear. I mean, I didn't actually even know that it was, it was there until somebody commented. And I was like, are you serious that that actually showed up? Cause I heard it in person, but I was like, Oh, it's, it's like, down the hallway and in a room with the door closed there's no way it would show up on camera but it did on on the video and that's all everybody's focusing on and for one it's in the background for two it wasn't me or my husband at the time for three it's not something again i can cut out just 
focus on the video and stop focusing on some dumbass in the background. I did what I could. I tried to cut it out, but YouTube will not let me because there's there's over a million views on that video. So the only thing they did when I tried to use their editing tool to cut it was they saved it and uploaded it as a separate video. I did what I could. I can't do anything else. Stop focusing on it. I'm deleting the comments about it because I'm just sick and tired of fucking reading it. Anyway, I get people hounding me for touching the babies. They say, oh, why are you touching those babies? If you touch the babies, the mom's going to reject them. Marmalade did not reject the babies. I, I'm pretty knowledgeable when it comes to animals. I would not touch the babies if I thought there was any chance she would reject them and it would put them in any, any danger. Uh, I've had three cats have, ki have kittens in front of me. One was a cat that I took in that was already pregnant. And two were two sisters that I had with my ex-husband. And, um... One I knew was pregnant, the other one we thought was a boy, next thing you know, she's given birth. But uh, I've been there, I've watched, I've stayed, I've monitored, and I've actually helped. And I know I've saved the lives of some of the kittens, because these first-time mothers don't really know what to do sometimes. One of them, the baby was stuck, and I had to help. Um, I had to help her. Didn't hurt her. All the babies survived. It was, it was lucky I was there, actually. Another one, she didn't break the sack and the baby was sitting there, couldn't breathe. I broke the sack and I stimulated his little chest and he started breathing and he, I think that was the, actually my monster maybe. It was one of, one of those litters were, were my favorite, one of my favorite cats monster is from. And, um, yeah, sometimes you have to step in. You, you shouldn't step in unless you see signs that you need to step in. But, um, you, you should know your cat well enough also to know if they would, tolerate you touching the babies or not but again i've never run into issues touching my cat's babies so chill out and back off another thing you should spay and neuter all your pets there's too many animals out there yada 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 okay this one i get where you're coming from i know there's a lot of homeless animals there's a lot of strays there's over overpopulation people just letting their cats have babies cats and dogs and every other critter out there but i had people asking me if they could adopt Marmalade's babies, if she ever got pregnant when she was a baby herself, before we even really thought about it. So I knew, and I kept in contact with these people, they kept writing me, I knew that the babies would have homes. We actually were going to keep all but one of the babies, and that baby went to uh, my ex's mom. And uh, we ended up, when we knew that we were going to split and I was going to come here, we ended up rehoming all the rest of them because I, I, I can't bring them here. It would cost way too much and it would be so stressful on them and everything. And we screened all the potential families and they were all taken care of. We would not have taken them to a shelter or thrown them out on the street. They were, they were already sorted. Um, if you want people to spay and neuter their pets, there's other ways to go about saying that without being a total cunt about it. Because it's like the whole feminism thing, and I don't care if you agree with me or not, this is my own personal opinion, and this is how I feel when people come at me. When you come at me nagging and being a total cunt about it, the last thing I want to do is spay and neuter my animals. I'm just like, fuck you, I'm just going to let them all have babies. I'm not actually going to do that. That's just the way it makes me feel in my head, like, God, get the fuck off my back. Who the hell are you to come here? You don't even know me, and you're you're hassling me and nagging me and judging me you're you don't take care of my pets what if i wanted to keep all of them you know which we did you're not one to say and to come here with that kind of attitude because all it's doing is the opposite of what you're probably trying to achieve some people most people don't like to be talked down to like that you could say it in a lot nicer kinder way without coming across as how fucking dare you you irresponsible owner what the fuck is wrong with you blah 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 i'm not gonna listen to you and i guarantee a lot of other people won't either and i know that's true because i've had this conversation with lots of other people in groups and boards what do you feel about people who come at you like that and they have all unanimously said it makes them not want to do it because nobody likes to be talked down to like that so maybe you should think twice before you start you know i i just this is food for thought Actually, what we were going to do if, if my ex and I had stayed together is we were going to, um, we were going to have, keep one of her babies originally and then spay her. And then when that baby got older, keep one of her babies and then spay her and continue on and on and on keeping one of the bloodline for the rest of our lives because we had wanted 
to keep one of Marmalade's bloodline forever, you know, only allow them to have one litter because we're not going to kitten mill them. But her, her coloring and her attitude were so unique and so special. I couldn't bear the thought of losing that forever. And so I wanted to keep that bloodline and that, the attitude, you know, kind of going and just always keep one of my baby's babies and it just didn't work out that way and now she's gone um my ex's mom has got her son but he's been neutered so there's no babies coming out of that lastly two and one i guess you should have left her alone during labor and what's wrong with you why didn't you have nesting boxes out that's so ignorant to the point where I shouldn't even have to acknowledge or answer this because for one you could see clearly in that video she was leading me around she wanted me to follow her she wanted me with her she did not want to be alone and secondly and I'm pretty sure I said this in the video as well I had nesting boxes set up for her all over the house I had under her under the table in the corners in the closets everywhere that she usually likes to go I had it covered I had boxes I had blankets she never showed any interest in any place, anywhere, until the day she went into labor. She came, she got me, and she went straight to the one box under the table. So she had already known where she wanted to go, and she was just waiting for me. She wanted me there. So it's like, I don't know if some of these people that are commenting and saying this stuff aren't actually watching the video, or if you're just trying to be a dumbass. But whatever it is, there are a lot of comments that are just like, if this is your attempt at trolling, you fucking suck. And uh, if this is your attempt at being ignorant, you ace that. Like one person said, and it's an obvious troll, is this a cat or a dog? Come on, like why do people feel the need to be so stupid, you know? But I know that there are some legitimate questions in there, like especially the one who is a racist bastard in the background. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to explain that, hopefully clear that stuff up for you guys. Thank you for watching that video and um, Unfortunately, she is no longer with us and uh, her babies were all rehomed. I cannot update you on any of her babies because I don't have access to them. I'm in America now, not New Zealand. I do have two cats now. Just got them. Um, I haven't done a proper introduction video yet because I'm waiting for Josh, but he got them for us. Well, he agreed. <laughs> He's never really been around cats, so this was really, really uh, interesting for him and he is so in love with them. I have a pure breed rag doll. He's all white. He's got the Siamese kind of points. He's about five, maybe six months old. And he came to us with the name Cass, like Castiel, you know, Cass. And um, we got a little girl kitten and she was found stuck in a tree. And these people online really needed to find a home for her because they have like three cats and two dogs and they did not want her. And um, they were like begging, please, can somebody take her? And she's, she's quite tiny. She's about, I'd say three to four months. And she's like this interesting tabby color. Like she's tabby on top, but she's got white legs. And uh, her name is Meg. So if you're a Supernatural fan, you'll catch the reference Cass and Meg. But I'll do a proper introduction with them hopefully soon. I, I will have an update video hopefully soon. Well, actually, I'll make it after this and I'll upload it in a few days. And uh, I hope that this helped answer some questions. Those of you that had real questions and just weren't just trying to be dumbasses for the sake of just having a laugh or whatever but um everybody else take care and i will see you soon bye <laughs>